Chapter 5, review word problems. We're going to work through a few of these word problems and see how we can do quadratics with them. Number 1, Jason jumped off a cliff in the ocean in Acapulco while on spring break with some of his friends. His height as a function of time can be modeled by the function that's listed, where t is time and h is height. How long did it take for Jason to reach his maximum height? That's question A. Question B is what was the highest point he reached? And question C is how many seconds did it take him to hit the water? So let's just really sketch something real quick. So here's a cliff, okay? At the bottom is water. Here's our little guy. It says he jumps off. So he's going to jump like this, and then he's going to come down. So how long did it take him to reach his maximum height? Well, his height is somewhere in here in green. That's his maximum height. Okay, so how long did it take? Well, let's just plug in our equation. H T equals negative 16 T squared plus 16 T plus 480. So let's talk about the quadratic. This little graph right here looks like the quadratic. So we could say if we wanted to, if we wanted to put this example right here on a coordinate plane, where he initially starts his jump, we can make that the y-intercept or the height. So he's at a height right now of something. Okay, and we can let the, the bottom value not be his distance going this way, but the time. So at time 0, 0, he starts here. At a certain amount of time, he's jumped and reached his maximum. And then at a certain amount of time, he's reached the... Uh, bottom of the water, which we will call the level of zero. So how long did it take for Jason to reach his maximum height? We just got to find the vertex of this equation. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so our x value of the vertex here is negative b over 2a, which that would be negative 16 over 2 times negative 16. So my x value which, if you remember, my x what value is time, is going to be 1 over 2, which is going to be 0 0.5 seconds. Remember, again, our x value in this scenario is time, our y value is height. What is the highest point that Jason reached? Well, Jason reached the highest point at 0.5 seconds, so we're just going to plug that back into the equation. h of t equals negative 16 times 0.5 squared plus 16 times 0.5 plus 480. Well, if we kept it in halves, 0.5 squared is 0.25. So we could say negative 16 over 4 plus 16 over 2 plus 480. Negative 16 over 4 is negative 4. 16 over 2 is 8. And again, all I did was I used one half instead of 0.5, plus 480. So negative 4 plus 8 plus 480 equals 484 feet. All right? So 484 feet. How many seconds did it take for Jason to hit the water? Well, when does he hit the water? when the height is equal to zero. So we just got to make our height equal to zero. So we're just going to set this quadratic. Again, h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 16t plus 4800 and set that equal to zero. So I'm going to scratch out the h of t. All right, so all we got to do is solve for the quadratic, solve for the roots. Easy stuff. First thing, is there a greatest common factor that we can factor out of everything? Absolutely. I can factor out a negative 16. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 16. So I'm going to get 0 equals t squared minus t minus, again, I factored out a negative 16, right? So 16 would be 30, right? So let's look. I can set up my x factor. So I got t squared minus t minus 30 equals 0. Okay, I need a product of my a times c value, which would be 1 times negative 30. So I need the two numbers that have a product of negative 30, and my b value is negative 1. So a sum 
of negative 1. Two terms that have a product of negative uh, 30 and a sum of negative 1. Well, that would be negative 6 and 5. So that tells me I'm going to have 0 equals x minus 6 times x minus or x plus 5. If you remember the shortcut, since my a value is 0, my time is just going to be the opposite of the factors. So it's going to be 6 seconds or negative 5 seconds. Can you have negative time uh, when we're talking about this? Absolutely not. So the time it took from when he jumped till he hit the, hit the water was 6 seconds. Okay. Next question. You are trying to dunk a basketball. The height that you or your feet are above the ground is given by the function of h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 12t. What is the maximum, maximum height your feet uh, will be above the ground? If you need to jump two and a half feet to dunk the ball, will you be able to? So we just got to find the maximum. So again, we just got to find the vertex of this thing. So my vertex in terms of time is going to be negative b over 2a. So that's going to be negative 12 over 2 times negative 16. So that's negative 12 over negative 32. I believe 4 will work into both of those, or negative 4 we can cancel on negative 4. So that's going to be 3 over 8. So my maximum uh, time is 3 eighths. So to find our height, we just got to plug that back in. So our h equals negative 16 times 3 over 8 squared plus 12 times 3 over 8. So that's going to be negative 16 times 9 over 64 plus 12 times 3 over 8. So it's a little bit of math. 16 goes into 64 how many times? 4. So I have negative 9 fourths plus, all right, 12 goes in, or 4 goes into 12 three times, 4 goes into 8 two times. So that's going to be 9 halves. So I get 9 over 2 minus 9 over 4. So I'm going to multiply this thing by 2 over 2 to get my fraction. So I get 18 over 4 minus 9 over 4, which equals 9 over 4, which is 2.25 feet. Okay? That's the maximum height. Can I jump 2.5 feet to dunk the ball? So part A, the max is 2.25. If that's the max I can jump, part B no, you cannot make the dunk because you need to go at least two and a half feet. Okay, next example. A diver is standing on a platform 24 feet above a pool. She jumps from the platform with an initial upward velocity of 8 feet per second. Using the formula, h of t equals negative 16t squared plus vt plus s, where h is the height above the water, t is the time, v is the velocity, and s is our starting point. How long will it take her to hit the water? Okay, so they gave us a bunch of information. So my initial equation was h of t equals negative 16t squared plus vt plus s. Well, my v is my initial velocity, so that's 8 feet. My s is the initial height. So now we just plug this back in. Well, we know h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 8t plus 24. How long will it take her to hit the water? So we'll just make that 0. 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 8t plus 24. Okay, I can divide everything by negative 8 if I want to. Let's divide every term by negative 8. So I'm going to get 0 equals... 2t squared minus t minus 3. Can we factor this? 
absolutely. We could do this a bunch of different ways if we wanted to, but let's just go ahead and do our x factor. What's our a times the c value? Negative 6. What's my b value? Negative 1. Three numbers, or two numbers that have a product of negative 6 and a sum of negative 1. That's pretty simple. That'd be negative 3 and 2. All right. Since my a value is not 1, I'm going to have to rewrite this. So it's going to be 2t squared plus 2t plus negative 3t minus 3. Okay, again, the reason we have to do that is since my a value is not 1, I have to replace this term with those two terms. Let's factor. What can I pull out on the first term? 2t. What's left? t plus 1. What can I factor out on the right term? Negative 3. What's left? t plus 1. So I'm going to get 2t minus 3 times t plus 1. Okay, I'm not done yet. How long will it take her to hit the water? So I've got to set each of these equal to 0 to solve. So 2t minus 3 equals 0, and t plus 1 equals 0. Well, t cannot equal negative 1, so that's out. So 2t, add 3 to each side equals 3, divide each side by 2, t equals 3 over 2. So t is going to equal 1.5 seconds. That's a positive number, so that one works. Okay? Number four, a ship drops anchor in the harbor. The anchor is 49 feet above the surface of the water when it is released. Use the vertical motion formula of negative 16t squared plus vt plus s. The starting velocity is zero. How many seconds will the anchor hit the water? All right, the anchor is 49 feet above. My initial velocity is zero, so h of t equals negative 16t squared plus zero, because my initial velocity was zero, zero t plus 49. So let's rewrite this. Negative 16t squared plus 49. We want it when it equals zero, when it hits the water. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. How many variables do I have? I have two. How many variables have an unknown in it? Or how many terms I should have two? Okay, so let's just set it equal to each other. So add 16t squared to each side. So I get 16t squared equals 49. Isolate the t value. So I'm going to get t squared equals 49 over 16. T, how do I get rid of that? We're going to square root each side. It's going to be plus or minus the square root of 49, which is 7, and the square root of 16, which is 4. All right, can I have negative time? No. So T equals 7 over 4 seconds. But since this is a word problem, we can go ahead and solve for 7 divided by 4. Okay. So get your handy-dandy calculator out, and 7 divided by 4 gets you 1.75. So t equals 1.75 seconds. All right. We're going to skip number five because we've done enough of those. We're going to skip six. We've done enough of those. All right. This is a good one. On fourth down, a punter kicks the football. His foot hits the ball four feet above the ground. So let's go ahead and draw our football guy. Here's our punter. All right. And he has the football in his hand. When he kicks, his foot is off the ground four feet. So his foot's up there when he drops the football. So he makes contact with the football at four feet. Okay? And it's going to have a velocity given and all that good stuff. How long will it take to hit the ground? Okay? So our formula is negative 16t squared. Our velocity was 66.25. All right, and my time, or my S, my distance was 4. All we would have to do is set that equal to 0. Okay, this is a great time right here. To solve, what we could do is we could just plug it in the quadratic. So negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So 
let's do negative b. So that'd be negative 66.25 plus or minus.